Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the drug interaction between lopramide and quinidine. What is lopramide? Lopramide is one of the opioid which is having a structure like this and here you can observe that it is not having any morphine like structure but it is a modified morphine derivative where the few of the rings are going to be open only two rings of the morphine are going to be present in this structure you can observe the phenyl ring of the morphine along with the piperidine ring is present in the lopramide and that's why this lopramide belongs to the chemical class of phenyl piperidines so when the opioid structure is going to be modified they can produce the four enilinopiperidines as well as four phenylpiperidines but here this lopramide belongs to the four phenylpiperidines so what is the use of this drug since this is an opioid it may act as an analgesic but interestingly lopramide is not acting like analgesic and it is not producing any euphoric effect just like the morphine this is because the lopramide cannot cross the that brain barrier so that it cannot enter into the CNS. That's why lopramide is one of the drugs which shows only peripheral actions of the opioids and it is particularly used as anti diarrheal agent. Generally opioids are going to produce a constipation so they can decrease the GA motility which results in the anti diarrheal activity. And since the lopramide is not having any central activities, it is particularly used for treatment of diarrhea. Now let us see what is a quinidine. Quinidine is one of the anti-arrhythmic agent and again this compound is derived from the natural alkaloids synchonalkaloids synchonalkaloids are like the quinine quinidine synchonine synchonidine and among them quinidine is one of the drug which is used as a anti-arrhythmic agent this is the structure of the quinidine and now we can see what is the ring system present in the quinidine so it is having one of the heterocyclic ring system this is nothing but the quinoline ring system this quinoline ring system is attached to the quinucleidine ring system through a methanol bridge. So quinidine is chemically quinoline methanol derivative. Now we can clearly observe that there is no structural relation between the loperamide and quinidine because the loperamide is a 4-phenylpiperidine whereas quinidine is a quinoline 4-methanol. How this drug acts? Quinidine is a class 1 antiarrhythmic agent. So this drug is going to block the voltage gated sodium channels thereby it is used as a class 1 antiarrhythmic agent. But at the same time, this drug is also having some class 3 activity. Class 3 antiarrhythmic agents are going to block the voltage gated potassium channels. In addition to the blocking of sodium channels, this quinidine can also block the potassium channels, which results in the prolongation of the plateau phase. And when the plateau phase is going to be increased, more calcium can enter into the heart, which may produce few of the cardiac arrhythmias. So that's why quinidine is one of the drugs which is called as pro arrhythmic agent. Even it is used for the treatment of arrhythmias but it can also produce the other types of arrhythmias. Particularly quinidine can produce a QT interval prolongation in the ECG which results in the one of the fatal condition torsi depointis. In this way quinidine is a class 1 antiarrhythmic agent with a class 3 activity which acts as a pro arrhythmic agent resulting in the torsi depointis as one of the important side effect. Now what is the interaction between this lopramide and quinidine? How they are going to interact? The drug interactions may be classified into two types, pharmacodynamic interactions or pharmacokinetic interactions. Now these two drugs are interacting by which mechanism? So pharmacodynamic interactions involve the interaction of the drugs at the mechanism of action. That means they are having similar target. Otherwise at the pharmacological actions they may interact such that they produce some drug interaction. For example, two drugs which are going to produce a hyperkalemia, they are having the pharmacodynamic interaction. On the other hand, pharmacokinetic interactions are resulting from the interaction of the two drugs at ADME pathways, absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretory pathways. Now let us check which type of interaction is present between the lopramide and quinidine. So first of all, let us check the pharmacodynamic interaction. Lopramide is one of the opioids, so this drug is going to activate the opioid receptors. Even this drug is not entering into the CNS, but still it can act on the peripheral opioid receptors. These opioid receptors are G-protein coupled receptors which are inhibitory in nature. So they are associated with a decrease in the cyclic AMP or opening of the potassium channels. Thereby they are going to produce the relaxation of the GI smooth muscle and they decrease the GM motility. That's why lopramide can produce a constipation and it can decrease the diarrhea in the patients. On the other hand, quinidine is one of the anti-arrhythmic agent and this drug is going to block the voltage gated sodium channels in the phase 0 the rapid depolation phase thereby it inhibits the rate of contraction of the heart so that's why quinidine can be used in the treatment of 
cardiac arrhythmias where this drug is going to decrease the rate of contraction. So we cannot observe any drug interaction between the lopramide and quinidine at the mecanism of action. They are having the different drug targets. Lopramide is acting on the opioid receptors which are present on the noceptive neurons. Whereas quinidine is acting on the heart which decreases the rate of contraction of the heart. Now let us check the interactions of the lopramide and quinidine at the pharmacological actions. Since lopramide is a opioid, it can stimulate the CTJ, thereby it can produce the emesis. So nausea and vomiting is one of the side effects of the lopramide. Similarly, this drug can decrease the GA motility, thereby it produces a constipation. That's why this drug is used in the treatment of diarrhea. And it can also produce other side effects like the dry mouth, dizziness in the patients. On the other hand, quinidine can produce variable side effects and again it can produce a nausea and vomiting and other side effects like uh, dizziness and diarrhea in the patients. So here you can observe that both lopramide and quinidine can produce a nausea and vomiting but this side effect is common with many of the drugs so it is not a significant drug interaction and quinidine produces a diarrhea whereas lopramide produces a constipation. So what are the diarrhea produced by quinidine can be suppressed by the lopramide when it is uh, concomitantly given. So again this will not lead to the any drug interaction. But quinidine at a high dose it can produce few of the side effects as already we have discussed the quinidine is a proarrhythmic agent which can increase the QT interval. So quinidine can increase the QT interval and it can precipitate the torsade D point days. Then what about the lopramide? Lopramide at the therapeutic dose will not produce any prolongation of the QT interval but at very high dose again it can increase the QT interval. Now we can observe both lopramide can increase the QT interval as well as quinidine can increase the QT interval. So there may be a drug interaction between these two. But this effect is observed only at the high levels of the lopramide. Generally lopramide is having the poor absorption. So at the therapeutic dose it cannot increase the QT interval. So it cannot interact with the quinidine at this level. So it cannot interact with the quinidine by pharmacodynamic mechanism. Now let us check the pharmacokinetic interaction. Let us take the three compartments. This is a GI tract and this is the blood that is a systemic circulation and this is the CNS. Now when the lopramide is administered, it can enter into the GI tract and it can be absorbed through the GI tract into the systemic circulation. But lopramide is having the poor absorption. So few of the drug molecules can enter into the systemic circulation. Now the lopramide can be absorbed into the systemic circulation. But on the GI tract, few of the pumps are present which are nothing but the P-glycoprotein pumps. These pumps are acting like the efflexing pumps so that few of the drug molecules of the lopramide are going to be efflexed out of the systemic circulation again into the GI tract. In this way, the P-glycoprotein can inhibit the intestinal absorption of the lopramide. Similarly, lopramide can undergo the extensive metabolism in the liver. So few of the enzymes like the CYP3A4 can produce the metabolism of this lopramide so that the few of the drug molecules are going to be metabolized. So then what are the lopramide molecules available in the systemic circulation can act on the peripheral opioid receptors to produce the antidiarrheal activity. Just like at the intestine, again at the blood brain barrier, the P glycoprotein pumps are present. Even the lopramide is having the poor absorption into the CNS. If any drug molecules are going to enter into the CNS, the P glycoprotein is going to efflux the drug molecules out of the brain such that the lopramide cannot enter into the CNS. In this way, lopramide only shows the peripheral actions. Now how this drug interacts with the quinidine? Now quinidine is one of the antiarrhythmic agent which can inhibit the P-glycoprotein pump. Now the quinidine can act on the P-glycoprotein pumps present at the intestine, blood-brain barrier as well as at the renal tubules and it can inhibit the activity of these P-glycoproteins. When these efflexing pumps are not working, the drug is not efflexed out of the membrane. When this P-glycoprotein is going to be inhibited at the intestine, the lopramide is not efflexed out of the systemic circulation. So more lopramide molecules can enter into the systemic circulation. Similarly, whenever the pump at the CNS is going to be inhibited, few of the drug molecules can enter into the CNS and they can produce the few of the central effects of the opioids. In this way, in presence of quinidine, more lopramide is going to be absorbed into the systemic circulation which, which increase the serum levels of the lopramide. At the same time, few of the drug molecules can also enter into the CNS because the P-glycoprotein at the central level is also inhibited by quinidine. So now the quinidine can inhibit the P-glycoprotein which is one of the important effluxing pump present at the various membranes. And by inhibition of this P-glycoprotein, the quinidine can increase the lopramide levels. So lopramide levels are increased within the blood as well as within the CNS. 
So when the low primary levels are excessively increased, they can act on the heart and they can increase the QT prolongation. And they can also enter into the CNS such that they can increase the central side effects of the loperamide. But here the peripheral actions are more important. So by the elevated levels of loperamide, it can produce a risk of the acute interval prolongation which may precipitate the torsade depointes. And torsade depoint is a fatal cardiac arrhythmias which should be immediately treated otherwise it leads to the death of the patient. In this way, even loperamide at therapeutic dose is not producing any QT interval prolongation but in presence of quinidine its levels may be excessively increased which may produce some cardiotoxicity. And here quinidine can also increase the QT prolongation so this combination may increase the cardiotoxicity. So that's about the drug interaction between the quinidine and loperamide. These two drugs are going to show the pharmacokinetic interaction. Quinidine is going to inhibit the P glycoprotein, thereby to increase the distribution of the loperamide, resulting in the elevated levels of this drug within the systemic circulation as well as in the CNS. This mainly results in the increased QT interval within the ECG, which may precipitate the torsade depointes. So, whenever this quinidine is combined with the loperamide, the loperamide dose should be somewhat adjusted in order to reduce the risk of torsade depointes. So that's for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.